What up, though, Connors? The Saiyan Day celebration on both Global and JP are set to drop in about two weeks from now. Actually, exactly two weeks on the dot. We're 14 days away. It starts for me in the Pacific on the 17th night, but for most of you, it'll start on the 18th. So regardless, two weeks, which means a couple of days prior to the Saiyan Day celebration's release, we will be getting the Dokkan Now video premiere. Unfortunately, it's not going to be one of those things where we get to see it well in advance, and then we get to sort of sit on the fact that the celebration is going to be whatever themed. Dokkan typically drops these video presentations a couple of days, I think a day or two before Saiyan Day Celebration start. We were told about this in the producer's letter back when we got the Cell Gohan EZA announcement in the letter. And then also on the Bingo Rewards update sheet, where they told us what rewards we can get for getting certain rows. That was also where they followed up and said it will be airing in mid-March. It's not just March, it's in mid-March, which means it most definitely is not going to be the first week. So since we're right now, you know, watching the, or I'm making this video in the first week of March, it's not going to be happening here at the earliest. It's going to be sometime next week. But in my humble opinion, it's going to be towards the tail end of next week. Ergo, right before the Saiyan Day celebration actually begins, which is exactly what they did last year. So in today's video, let's talk about what we can expect to see in terms of content, in terms of event. Because when it comes to Saiyan Day celebrations, this is sort of like an unofficial part two to the respective versions part one. Right now, Global is going through the Bardock celebration. We're not even done with Bardock. We sort of are waiting for the unofficial part two to the part one of Bardock. So we still got more stuff to do over here, which means a lot of more, a lot of extra stones are still to be gained on part one itself. So part two, you know, whenever it comes to like a part one, part two, we don't typically expect the world for that follow-up. So I want people to kind of keep their expectations tempered in terms of that. I remember last year, all of the hype that was centered around the Majin Vegeta was quickly dissipated after the celebration began. Just a couple of days in because then people started complaining man there wasn't a whole lot here to do saiyan day doesn't give a whole lot in terms of events uh when you compare it to like the bigger celebrations or like maybe golden week even because golden week also happens alongside goku day so there's a little bit more happening there so i feel like people sometimes sort of get that jumbled up in their head thinking that something similar should be happening on saiyan day maybe they surprise us this year because in terms of the banner we did talk about the fact that the banner looks very different in terms of the final banner before Saiyan Day, so they could be going for a big changeup coming up. Who knows? But in terms of just expectations, as we've learned recently, it's generally better to keep the expectations lower. But let's go through the last couple of years and see how this played out. So last year for Majin Vegeta, we had the uh, the LR free to play. So this was a very confusing time for global players because we got the seven year anniversary part three free to play LR EZA at the same time as JP basically, which was just out, out of left field completely. Nobody knew that this was coming. But then this sort of acted as the global content along with the Dragon Ball story. These two things sort of collectively made up the global side of the celebration. Whereas JP got the free-to-play seven-year part three thing. They also got the giant eight power EZAs that global had well before. They got that. And then they also got a brand new Battle of Gods Dragon Ball story event. So each version is going to have their own little like mini section of the celebration. So we're going to have to wait and see what that is. But since Global is going to be going into this upcoming Saiyan Day with the collection of epic battles only have just having just dropped like three days before Saiyan Day begins, I feel like that's probably going to be the bulk of the global side of the celebration. So I don't really know if they're going to be throwing us a whole lot more in terms of like the exclusivity of it all. But then if we look at just general, like the general celebrations, Infinite Dragon Ball history is pretty much a foregone conclusion. Some sort of an EZA. Last year, it was the Royal Blue Vegeta, which was announced during the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, which Dokkan is not a part of this year. So we're not going to have that element of surprise. Uh, and then the year before, I think it was the LR Broly EZA. I think that was what we had then. If we go back to the Broly one. I think that was the first time we got an LR EZA. I think so. I think this was the dawn of the LR EZA. So that was actually a pretty big deal. So, you know, with the Broly LR getting an EZA with Royal Blue becoming the best EZA lead for Pure Saiyans at the time, there was a lot of expectation behind that. So I think if anything, that's probably going to be where a lot of people's hopes and dreams sort of lie. And that really begs the question, what is this year's EZA going to be? Is it going to be uh, dependent on the theme of the celebration? Is it going to be dependent on just whoever's most overdue? Like AGL Bardock makes sense. Recently, I did a community poll talking to you guys about which one do you think is most deserving of the four? Int Broly, Int LR Team Bardock, AGL Bardock, and Physical Transforming Vegeta. Out of the four, most of you guys said Physical Transforming Vegeta as his contemporaries, the Transforming Goku and Frieza, received their EZAs, but he has not. So he is probably most deserving in terms of both hype and you know how long he's been around. But then again, if it's going to be something Battle of Gods related, 
would that make sense for the sake of battle of gods so we're gonna have to wait and see what this is but i think no matter what this is going to be a big time easy that people are going to be pretty hyped up about then we've got a super battle road uh jp got a super battle road and an extreme super battle road so a little variation there but we'll get something like that and then we should get some sort of a dragon ball story event which also then begs the question if dragon ball story event is going to be implemented could we be seeing some sort of an LR Broly or GoBros EZA situation? A lot of people have been mentioning this as this is one of the few Dragon Ball Story events that Global has yet to receive. If we actually go and take a look at the list of Dragon Ball Story events. Let's see here. We don't have the second coming of Broly. Actually, that's the only one. So uh, we will likely receive this. I don't think that this is going to dictate the theme. So, I mean, people obviously have the theory and people will still have their theories. I don't think that we're going to be necessarily receiving some sort of like a Broly related celebration, but um, I think Global will be getting this as we recently did receive some assets, updated assets for this Dragon Ball story event. I think that this is going to be dropping on Global and like they did last year while Global gets their new Dragon Ball story event, which is just a hand-me-down from the JP one. JP will then venture into the unknown and get something brand new. Now, this might kind of hurt my Battle of Gods theory since we just received this Dragon Ball Story revamp last year for Saiyan Day. So will they maybe continue and build off of this one or will they make a brand new Dragon Ball Story event that has nothing to do with the celebration, but it's just brand new. So we'll have to wait and see what that is, but there will be something. And when it comes to Dragon Ball Story events, they do pay out some pretty nice stones. Uh, let's see, how many stages are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 16 Dragon Stones uh, plus missions. So 16, 17, 18, 19. So, okay, I might have miscounted. So maybe like 20 Dragon Stones which is good. That's uh, that's a good bulk of stones there to add on top of the EZA, the Super Battle Road. Infinite Dragon Ball History gives about 30. Missions and logins together would make up about 30 because this is about a two-week window for the Sand Day celebration. And then scroll down to the bottom, we got Chain Battle. You can bet there's going to be some sort of a Chain Battle between both Global and JP. Although, that might also be a little bit iffy as Global is going to be receiving their Chain Battle for Bardock, I think a little bit late. Let's actually check and see what is the date for the chain battle for global for Bardock? Bardock's campaign, uh, it's going to be sometime next week. When is that actually chain battle? Oh, it's releasing on the 13th. So actually, I don't know about this one. Oh, actually, you know, if anything, I think we will jump into another Saiyan Day. So now, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't think it's going to be dropping on the 17th. I think we'll be getting Saiyan Day probably around the 20th, 20th or 21st. So it might be shifted just a little bit which would then make sense because if you consider the fact that JP has yet to begin their next celebration, their next celebration begins on the 6th of March. So actually, if you add two weeks to that, that will send you to the 20th. So I think that makes more sense. So honestly, I want to go back here and change this because I think this will go on until the 20th. And then that is when we're going to be starting the Saiyan Day celebration. So Global will be getting about a... Yeah, so that makes more sense because Global will then have a full week to um, relish in their new collection of epic battles. They'll have a full week to take care of the chain battle and all of that good stuff. Otherwise, this would be a little bit unusual. So yeah, um, this is going to be a little bit longer of a part one than I had previously expected. So other than that, I think that pretty much wraps up the same day celebration. Last year, uh, in a rough estimate, I counted about 160 Dragonstones during Sand Day. Um, so we can probably expect something similar. Maybe if, if you want to just underestimate, maybe it'd be like 150, 140. That will obviously help in terms of expectations. You won't be disappointed that way. If we look at like, let's just say Barda or the Broly celebration, uh, Broly had, yep, infinite Dragon Ball history. They had an Extreme Z area that released on the global side. They had the LR Broly easy. They had the co-op campaign missions. This gives you about 10 Dragon Stones. We had another chain battle. So yeah, it's pretty much going to be this. I, I saw some people saying we could get it like a legendary Goku event or something like that. That's not going to happen. Legendary Goku events, I'm pretty sure happened during like Goku day or just legendary Saiyan events in general. I don't remember actually when the Vegeta event released, but I don't think that's going to be dropping during Saiyan day. And let's just quickly wrap this up by checking that out. Legendary Vegeta event, this released during July of 2021 for JP and in January of 2022 for, uh, for Global. Yeah, so this is not going to be something that happens. Even if we got like a transforming Vegeta EZA, I don't think that there would be like another legendary event that drops during this time. But there's still going to be plenty of content, plenty of stones to be gained. And that's the most important thing. And then, of course, the new unit, whenever that is. Battle of Gods. But that's going to be it, guys. Expect about 150-ish Dragon Stones. And uh, expect it to take a little bit longer to drop um, because of the unusual scheduling here. JP's got to have two weeks. Global's got to have at least two weeks. 
So this is going to be the new predicted timeline for me. Let's see if I end up being right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what do you think is going to be coming up for the Saiyan Day celebration in terms of events. Legendary Goku event, some sort of new legendary event, legendary Broly event, I don't know. Infinite Dragon Ball history, what do you think the theme could be if it is for whatever theme you were hoping for? If it's Battle of Gods, what could the Infinite Dragon Ball history theme be? Um, what sort of stone count are you expecting to see for Saiyan Day? How many stones do you have? How many summons did you do for Bardock? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more no content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know I want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.